hidden in the remote corners of Australia. There lies the most venomous creature on the planet, the inland taipan, known as the world's most venomous snake. The inland taipan is native to Australia's harsh interior. With its sleek body and earth-toned scales spread all over the body, inland taipan is habituated to Australian atmosphere. On the scale of popularity, it's little down to King Cobra and Black Mamba. But on the scale of lethality of venom, it tops the list. What gives it a unique position in the lethality of venom is simply the composition. The venom contains all kinds of toxins which hijacks the system at the same time. The neurotoxins, myotoxins, hemotoxins and nephrotoxins start working together. Within a single minute followed by its bite, the system becomes irresponsive. Research on the toxicity of venom is still on. Now they are finding other toxic enzymes that the venom of inland taipan contains. The symptoms followed by the bite may contain renal failure or neurological collapse. Also the muscles around just destroys. In different researches, they found that above 80% of the cases of inland taipan's bite remains untreated. That means only 20% survive even when they are given antivenoms. Also the rate of envenoming is above 80%. That's a serious concern. That simply means that the bite of inland taipan contains severe dangerousness and high lethality potential. But a weird fact about inland taipan is unlike its infamous reputation the inland taipan avoids conflict. It rarely interacts with humans and poses little threat unless provoked. So in a way, despite its deadly venom, the inland taipan is not an aggressive snake. Basically, it doesn't produce much danger to humans. But even after being the most venomous snake, it also faces some natural threats. Like Malga snake of Australia eats the young inland taipan. Basically, it's immune to the venom of inland taipan. Also, the monitor lizards thus destroy its eggs, which in a way is a big threat to the community of inland taipan. And taipan represents a better fragility of nature. Which snake, according to you, is better equipped than inland taipan? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you.